and welcome to another Blender Vision tutorial where you can find the no-nonsense direct step-by-step -step approach to getting your task done. I'm Richard, you're you and today we're looking at setting up multiple cameras in an animation scene. Okay, so in my scene I have a simple setup where I have three cameras, I have two characters which are talking to each other and just some background and some lamps. If I pull out here you can see a lot better what's going on, very simple setup. So what I want to do is switch from one camera to the other while they're having their conversation. So I have this camera which I've labelled cam wide because it's just used for the wide shot and I have cam 1 and cam 2. Now the trick of this is, is selecting which camera to change to and when. So as you know, well you may know, you may not, this camera up here is the active camera and you know that because this solid triangle above it. Whereas these two have just the outlines of triangles above them which shows they are not actually active. To make a camera active you will select it and then press control and numpad zero and then it should switch to that camera and make it the active one as you can see it's now filled in the triangle whereas this one is now empty over here so every time you press zero now it'll go to that camera so what we want to do is we want to switch to our first camera which will, for me would be the wide shot uh -oh. don't know what's happened there, I switched to the wall if you, acc <laughs> you accidentally switch to a wall or some other object it will actually take you there and view as if you're looking out of a camera where you're not you want to make sure you select the right object in your scene. So that's a good job I did that for demonstration purposes, of course. Um, so we start at a wide shot like this. And what we need to do is go down to our timeline and we start at the beginning because that's or whatever you want it to start from. I'm going to start it from number one. Um, what we're going to do now is press M and you see a marker appear called F underscore zero one. And you want to rename that marker, you can press marker and rename, or you can just press Control M, and then you can rename it, I'll call it Shot 1. And enter to name it Shot 1. And we want to bind that to this camera, so we want to press Control B, and that's done. So now we can move the cursor where we want to change cameras, and my character, if you see there, starts talking around here so I want to change just before he does I want to change to this camera here so select the camera you want to change to make it the selected camera by control zero and down with your mouse over the timeline you want to press M and then control M and put shot two and then control B to bind it so now you will notice when you drag along the timeline it switches cameras because marker 1 is, is assigned to camera 1 or camera wide shot 2 is camera 1 and shot 3 will be camera 4 or camera 3 well if I switch out of the cameras I can see when she starts to talk I say she, I call them a she and a he so just there I want to switch to this camera so I'll switch to it bring it down here, press M control M shot 3 enter enter and then control B so now it goes from the camera 1 camera 2 camera 3 there we are I hope you found that helpful so you can carry on now and stop playing around with that and see what you can create there we are cheers guys see you again